woke up this morning hungry and I didn't have uh, breakfast or break my fast until later on in the afternoon. I decided to have a keto taco. I had one egg life wrap left in the refrigerator and I found some taco meat. So I used that, um, added some shredded cheese, some uh, jalapeno peppers, a little bit of salsa. And this is how I broke my fast this morning with a keto taco. Um, like I say, meal preps come in so, so handy. And this uh, keto taco was very, very good. This is my dinner. I have about a cup of broccoli and I put a little bit of cheese sauce on that. And this is my chicken salad. And this is dinner, my last meal of the day. The time is now 6.30, so I'll be finished eating by 7 o'clock p.m. Okay, getting ready to go for my walk. Goes the mailman. Okay, you guys, so I'm out going for my walk this evening. The weather is changing. I'm going to have to get me some jogging suits is what I'm going to invest in, some sweatsuits so that I can have something to go walking in, fight this cold while I'm walking. So I just had to get out for a little bit so that I can enjoy the outside. I have started back taking a vitamin D supplementation, which is something that I use pretty often, especially since I've had been living in Seattle where most of the time the sun is covered. When I first moved here, I didn't have to use the vitamin D. And I use vitamin D3. I use that as a supplement and <clears throat> excuse me Like I said, for a while, I didn't have to use the vitamin D3 because it was so hot and so sunny here in Oklahoma. So I got off that supplement for a while. But now I'm back using it. Whew. I'm making a commitment to get out and walk at least 30 minutes during the day. been getting out of breath here walking so I want to make sure I get back to the point where I don't have to worry about getting out of breath somebody else I walk in okay while I'm walking I'm going to talk a little bit about using intermittent fasting and how to use intermittent fasting um, to help you with your weight loss a lot of people just use intermittent fasting alone as a way to help them lose weight help to maintain their present weight or just to get healthier intermittent fasting can be used in many ways first thing that you're really going to have to do is decide how long you want your eating window to be. I advise people to start with an eight hour window. So it's supposed to be difficult as you walk and talk and it's kind of difficult so I feel like I'm accomplishing something. Go back and walk around this other block. Um, use the eight hour window for your intermittent fasting. Especially if you're just starting off with uh, dieting or 
trying to get healthier, don't worry about, you know, dieting. Don't worry about stopping certain foods or anything. First thing I want you to worry about is basically controlling the time that you are eating. And you're going to do that by eating in an eight-hour window. Pick an eight-hour window that's convenient for you, something that you can stick to. Now, during this eight-hour window, we're going to eat two meals. Your eight-hour window won't start until you have your first meal. If you have your first meal, say at two o'clock in the afternoon, then you have until, I really wouldn't want to have a eating window like from two to 10, but you know, it basically depends on your lifestyle, how you're gonna set your eating window up. My eating window, I like to eat in an eating window of anywhere from four hours to six hours. This works best for me. Now, once you start reducing your eight hour window down, I mean, yeah, reducing your eating time down to that eight hour window, then you're just gonna have two meals. Decide what time of day you're going to have those two meals. You can make your eating window something like 11 o'clock in the morning for your first meal and then stop eating by seven o'clock in the evening. That is a really good eight hour window to follow and that's just giving you an example. But during this time, you wanna have two meals and you want to avoid snacking. Two meals with no snacking. You can drink all the water, all the tea, and all the black coffee that you want. But I only want you to have two meals during your eight hour window. Now, another thing that I want you to do, or what we're gonna do, is we're gonna keep our meals simple. And by that, we're gonna have protein, okay? That's what you wanna concentrate on, is eating protein. You can have some vegetables, you can have some fruits. Have whatever works best for you, but start by eating your protein. Protein is gonna make you feel fuller, faster, and it's gonna help you stay feeling fuller longer. Start with your protein, then go to your vegetables. After you eat your vegetables, then go ahead and add in your carbs if you have any carbs on your plate. And remember, if you are eating carbs, it's best to eat the complex carbs because your body uses those at a slower rate and therefore at a slower rate and therefore your insulin doesn't spike as bad. You also want to concentrate on eating whole foods. Whole foods are gonna give you your essential nutrients that you're gonna need. It's gonna give you your fiber and it's gonna satisfy you. So make sure that you're getting whole foods along with your protein. Now you wanna aim for, I would say, try eating like 30 to 40 grams of protein per meal. And that way you should get in enough protein for yourself during the day. That way you will get anywhere from 90 to 120 grams of protein, which I feel would be pretty adequate, especially if you're just starting off. Vegetables and fruits. These are all rich in vitamins and minerals, and these are important. Uh, especially uh, if you're dieting because you want to make sure that you are maintaining your health and also that you are using a sustainable diet. Remember that if you are measuring 
your portions. Four ounces of meat, uh, four ounces of protein is usually about the size of the palm of your hand. I learned that trick a long time ago and that's what I use to kind of tell how much meat I'm eating. If you want to eat six ounces of meat, then you want a piece of meat that's a little bit bigger, that kind of overlaps your hand. If you want an eight ounce, then you want it twice the size of your hand. So you can use this to help you measure um, your meats um, as you are, um, you know, fixing, you know, fixing your meals. Or you can measure like this also if you are at a restaurant. If you happen to be at a restaurant and you want to measure how much food you're eating, you can do this um, by the palm of your hand. Also remember that about half a cup of vegetables is a serving. Half a cup of vegetables is a serving, especially the cooked vegetables. So remember, you can add an intermittent fasting Use intermittent fasting to help you get on point. Use intermittent fasting to help you stay focused. Um, by using intermittent fasting, you really won't have to count um, your calories. You can use this as a guide and it makes it just a lot more easier. Anyhow, just wanted to share that information with you. But if you will do this just for the first week, Decide on an eight-hour eating window. Have two meals during that time with no snacking. When you first start this, you may have little energy. It may take you a while, you know, to get used to it. Let your body adapt. But once you can start adding an exercise, go ahead and do that. And your exercise could be something as simple as just taking a simple 10-minute walk. But anyhow... I'm back where I started. Um, hope that I've given you some information that you can use. And let me know below if you follow this routine with me for this week. Okay. See you later.